Yeah, so um, vipi vipi wasoe wangu? The best thing as a teenager, please sanitize. If you must, if you must go out, make sure. <laughs> it's for the best thing, like going to buy food stuff. Otherwise, stay home, keep social distance. How was you? <laughs> My name is Azirkam, Azirkam Popo. I'm an artist based in Kibera, uh, Nairobi. Uh, I'm also a community mobilizer. I'm also a scriptwriter and an actor and also a comedian. I do films that actually touch community and change. The purpose of what I do is actually to do empowerment and to change society, perception of the, the view people. Action! I like it. <laughs> As an artist, I've been doing more and more short videos and then sending them to social media. I've been targeting young people. I've been targeting uh, the teenagers because they have power. They're the people actually who can flatten the, the curve. I'm also a dance choreographer. I teach dance in schools. I can say dance is the only thing that actually can, that touches the soul and even the mind of people. Dance makes you to feel relaxed. Dance makes you to forget actually that you are in the world that is full of corona. It's, it's very difficult during this time. It involves your mind, it involves the physical part of you. It makes you just to feel like, like you are alone and you are, you are in a, maybe paradise. Corona, now, uh, we didn't expect actually to be the way it is, but corona has affected so many artists. Most of the artists in Kibera, they depend on events. There are no events, there are no social gathering. Everything was locked. If there are no these activities, it means there are no income. So many people abandon their, their talents, their arts. You don't have rent, you don't have food for your children. There are others who are turning to crime for the sake of just trying to look for something to put on the, on the table. Social distancing in, in Kibera is actually impossible. I mean, you live, you live in one room and the bathrooms, you have to go like 100 meters from where you are, you are living. There's no social distancing when you are paying for food. There's no social distancing when you, go, when you are going to fetch water. It's impossible to tell a person in Islam to stay at home and they have no food. For me, it's one of the jokes that I, I say out there and, and the crowd, they cheer for me. What we, what we can do better is actually sanitize and, and wear a mask. We have been also urging NGOs and even the authority to put all their concentration and attention on Corona. What you do during this time matters a lot. We are living through a hard time. There's no money, there's no food. But as young people, as teenagers, we don't have to live a short time and forget that we have a longer period. This virus will come and it will go. So you need to stay strong and that's the thing that you are doing.